opponent, weighing at 77.3 kilograms, he is representing CT Flashball. He's back in cage rage contenders. He looks like a caged animal. Sol Gilbert, look at him, so focused, so dedicated. That's Come right, and very pumped. As we get ready to get this one on, Darren Geish and Sol Gilbert, both big show veterans. Here again, another fight where the fighters are looking for redemption. That's right, Rob, redemption is the word here. Two men have tasted the big show, want to get back there. So here we go, Darren Geisha and Sol Gilbert, the main event of the evening here at Cage Rage Contenders 4 at Hammersmith Valley. And what a slam by Gilbert. In for a very quick shoot, straight away with a takedown. He needs to be careful he doesn't get his neck caught. It looks as though Darren might have both arms in on the neck. Sol needs to be really careful, he needs to push forward and stop his neck from getting cranked. He needs to be really careful here, throwing the right hand in just to soften up the ribs of Darren. He's popping his head free, trying to move it. Popping in the body shots, he doesn't look too uncomfortable. No, I don't think he's on that tight yet, Rob. No, Sol no, pops his head free. He moves himself forward, a good shot. And it's a bit of a scramble on the ground as Darren Gleischer takes half guard I believe good body shot there with the right hand from Gilbert though so looking for a big shot and we know he's got him in his arsenal yes good boxing skills knockout power in those hands Darren guy should just trying to toll Sai up perhaps looking to be stood back to his feet I think you're dead right there Rob obviously the Kettles gym famous for their Muay Thai skills Allen in the corner there, Kieran, a, a Thai boxing world champion. And it's Sol Gilbert that's the more dominant fighter at the moment, so holding top position. Darren Geisher in the black trunks on the ground. Yes, he's, he's, he's trying his best to tie Sol Gilbert up here so that Grant brings him back upright. Good attempted up kick by Darren Geisha. Soldier softening up the legs. I've not seen Soul in better shape either, Rob. And Good low kick. Him up. Good call by Grant Waterman. Both fighters back to their feet. And this is where Soul will be dangerous. Can watch for the body shots, watch for the head shots. There's the low leg kick. Alan Kettle would have appreciated that one. Inside leg kick as well from Gilbert. Darren needs to start oh, looking to check right those. Hand. And he's cut from that right hand, Rob. He checked the blood, he knows he's cut himself from that right hand. It's a good shot by Solda overhand right. Darren Geisha looking to go in underneath. So again with the low kick. 
I think that defence took it out of Darren Geisha. Rob, he's blowing here. And the a low kick. Good, solid low forward. kick that time, Malcolm. Again, another good shot from Sol Gilbert. Oh, oh. Darren Geisha this time. A good solid right hand by Geisha. Both guys moving around. Darren Geisha just looking to feed the jab, try and make some range. A big hook that misses, Sol Gilbert comes in. Combination finished with a leg kick. Darren shook his head there, he went for the takedown and took another big right again. Sol very accurate tonight. And again Sol with a left. And that left hook to slip him round. And those low kicks have worked consistently from zero tolerance here. He blocked that big right hand from Darren. We must be nearing the end of the first round here. A bit of hesitancy about Darren Geisha's work at the moment, Rob. I think that cut may have him worried, mate. So looking very confident, takes him right off his feet with the low kick there. And it's all Sol Gilbert as he again moves in for the left hook. Darren's legs marking up, especially that lead left leg. So with a high kick. Ten seconds left in this round. And a dominant, dominant round for Sol Gilbert. Very, very dominant round. Rob, coming into the second round here, but I can't help but think that Darren seems a bit disorientated, doesn't he? And, and a bit... It's, it's not like he's brought his A-game. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, he... You could see him talking to his corner there. And he's very frustrated, wasn't he? I think Sol's had an answer to everything he's tried and has been so dominant in this fight. You've got a Sol Gilbert that looks really lean and mean tonight. We have... Darren Geisha does look very frustrated. Even when the leg kicks are landing, you can see his, his own frustration in those landings. And he's hesitant here, looking cautious. That's right, under the points criteria at the moment, it's all Sol Gilbert. And it almost, there's almost an inevitability about this result as it stands at the moment, unless Darren could turn it around. Because Sol's being allowed to do what he wants at will. Good jab there by Gilbert, showing that boxing background, and then the low kick again. And of the two with the low kicks, it's Gilbert's that are having more effect. Also, if you look, when Sol jabs, Darren takes two steps back. When Darren jabs, Sol covers up. Yes, just as the, the double block with the forearms. Always stays in range, ready to launch a counter-attack. And this is hesitant from Darren. And again, the double 
hook and then the low kick with the right leg. Now she went down and kicks like that. That's the perfect time within range for Sol to let the right hand go as well. And I'm sure Sol having the experience he's got would have spotted that. And there, there he is with a big hand. leaping left hook. And that one hurt. You he's see. slowly but surely Rob dismantling Darren Geisha here. We can see just in the split of Darren Geisha's shorts that left leg is an absolute mess underneath the shorts. Yes, he's slowly be, but surely being taken apart by Sol Gilbert here. But the problem for Darren is he's doing nothing to try and protect that leg, Rob. Oh, oh big right hand! Job so Gilbert! Changes. Suddenly, Geisha comes to life, Rob. He's cut above the right eye as well now, but he suddenly earned so Gilbert's respect. It's a big shot that saw Sol go down. And you can hear Sol's crowd really getting behind him. But suddenly Geisha has earned his respect with that right hand. They've done a good job of stopping the blood on the left eye, but now he's cut above the right eye. I don't think it's anything too serious. You can see it's just no, it's, streaming down it's gently. It's the side of the eye where you don't get a good cut, but you get a better position and both cuts are outside the eyes so outside the line of vision as well there's that left hand that's troubled Darren on numerous occasions so will we have our first fight tonight actually go into the third round all our previous fights have been by stoppage win All in the first round as well, unless I'm mistaken. See, the problem for Darren is he's allowed Sol to recover his composure and his dominance and couldn't quite capitalise on when he dropped Sol. You can see that left leg of Darren Geishas is literally bruised it's between like raw meat, doesn't it, Rob? Maybe a 14, 15, 15, 15 inch length of his leg is absolutely bruised up and well hidden, marked up really bad. You can see both guys just sort of talking to one another there. Be interesting to know what they were saying exactly. 10 seconds left in this second round. With both guys trade. So with one round left, Rob, everything to fight for. So here we go, Rob, the third and final round, the first fight to go 
into the third round and it's built in intensity hasn't it it's built up and built up and now it's a really good little fight slowly but surely it has and Darren looks like he's come out pumped for the third looking a lot more aggressive for the opening seconds yes he's grown in confidence with that second round so again with that dangerous left hook and that low kick look at that left leg Rob look at that leg it's purple unreal but Darren has got that big right hand and it worked in the second round for him and Sol will give you a puncher's chance it's the way he fights them leg kicks just seem to be he wins this time wearing and Darren down and again pictures moment so Gilbert great Gilbert work by Gilbert as he moves into man position let Gaisha do the chasing capitalized took him down full man great position for Sol Gilbert to be in Darren Gaisha trying to get the turn off the side of the cage Gilbert trying to capitalize on full man position And Rob, as we said, this one has built up in intensity. You can see the leg clear as day there on Darren Geisha. It looks like he's been bitten by a shark. Now Geisha needs to be very, very careful here. We've seen him in this position before. And Sol Gilbert looks as though he's going for the same technique as he puts one arm in. Looking for the rear naked choke. He's trying to flatten him out there, wasn't he? And it didn't quite work changes technique and fires in the shots bad position this here for Geisha this could be it Rob this could be it now Darren Geisha That's in it. a it is it. terrible Round position and no fight gone the distance tonight and Sol finishes it in emphatic fashion great win for Sol Gilbert so Rob, if you'd like to sum up this evening entertainment for us here at Cage Rage Contenders 4. We have had it all. We've had drama, entertainment. This was the first fight to go the distance, or not even the distance, to the second round tonight. We've had such an entertaining night. I don't even know where to start or finish, to be honest with you, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, James, look this way, after two minutes, 24 seconds of round three, your referee will the halt to this contest due to Stop. ground and pound Stop. in favour of Seoul Zero Tolerant Gilbert from ZT Fight School and London Shoot Fighters. It took you three rounds to do it. Did you think it was going to take that long? Um, really, without sounding arrogant, I wanted to get the bounce out today. Um, I wanted to try and keep you standing for as long as possible. I wanted to take him down when I wanted to take him down, which I proved tonight. Um, and I just had control. I mean, I was work I didn't really want to work for submissions because I like strikes. And I think it's entertaining for the crowd to see someone get stopped with strikes. Um, the crowd will love the fact today to be a place of uh, But, you know, he put up a good fight. I respect the geezer. But I did have a score to settle with him because he took a little bit of one of my students on a different show. So there was a little bit, uh, a bit of a grudge thing tonight. You gave him some punishment on the legs, just looking at his legs, seems really bruised. Well, to be honest with you, he's training with one of the top, if not the top, Thai boxing camps in Britain right now. Kennels, um, next to London Thai fighters, of course. So, uh, you know, I wanted to let him know that, even though I'm a boxer, you know, I've got a bit of f***ing legs as well. So, I wanted to see how good his legs were, and just so it happened, mine were better than his. No, 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 no. What's it like fighting in front of a crowd down here in London, one of the Cage Rage contenders? Do you know what? I love it. It's the first time on Cage Rage contenders for me. I'm normally a favourite on the uh, big Cage Rage stage. But since they've got so big now, 
I don't know, for me, I, I like this, I like this atmosphere, I like the fact that I can sense the crowd two feet away from me, I like the support that they give you, you know, win, lose or draw, this, this for me is where I want to stay in contenders for the meantime and just have my fun, enjoy it. So if there's anyone out there you could fight, the next fight you have, it could be anyone in the world, who would it be? <laughs> um, I don't know, I leave it to, you know, even though I've been school, I leave it to my manager Alexis Dimitriadis, London Shoe Fighters, he takes control of all of my stuff, so um, I just leave it down to him, which I want to thank tonight, Alexis and London Shoe Fighters, all my team out there, and most especially my guys at ZZ Fight School who really helped me prepare this time, you know, props to you guys, you know, just for you. Fantastic, put your hands together if you win a Saul Gilbert!